Satan. How? Hey everybody, it's your girl Tony Time and I'm back with some more Sims for you. Okay, so I am here to show you all my new Kaz. Um, this is my personal family that I usually play in my game. And so I'm thinking I might bring them to YouTube just because they're really, really fun to play. And also, it is currently 10.30 at night. So I guess this is my new routine. Just, you know, recording late as hell for no reason. Um, okay. So I'm going to show you guys um, my game. I did finish all my towns, by the way. I'm thinking I'm going to move my Willow Creek family into Henford on Bagley. I really want them to live there. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, but look at all the pretty stuff around in Willow Creek. Willow Creek is one of my favorite worlds to live in, honestly, just because of all the variety um, of venues and things. But anyway, okay, has nothing to do with the video. Back to what I was talking about. Okay, so this is my main family that I play, Madrid and Shipper. I name everybody by their last names. Um, and then we have the Jensen family, the Salas family, and the other Madrid family. This is actually one big family. We will get into all the connections in a moment, but let's get into Madrid and Shipper real quick. So this was my original character, um, Noelle Madrid. I forget her actual maiden name, but she married Angel Madrid, who we'll talk about in a second. Um, she was a human, and I did change her into a spellcaster when we got the uh, spellcaster pack and then also when we got Henford on Bagley I did change her into a country caretaker before this she was what is that job in Sulani oh gosh the um environmentalist person she was that originally and so I moved her over to country caretaker because she also loves animals specifically cats you can see she's a cat person she's adventurous um I have not been to uh the mountains yet in the game I told you guys I was trying to fix everything up so I have not been there but when she gets to go with her son her son over here where is he her son Leo um they're gonna have fun on the skiing stuff I'm telling you they're gonna have fun but anyway okay so she also loves the outdoors and then here's her likes and dislikes we're not gonna get into all of it but she is a very big gardener originally I had her um selling bouquets and stuff in the game like she didn't have a real job she was just selling bouquets and that was her hustle and the girl was making good money and i didn't cheat anything like she did all that from the ground up and i was like yes girl okay so she's a gardener she likes to cook and bake and she loves music things like that so um here are her outfits so let me pull these up so this is her first outfit she is a hot mama she has her three kids um one is biological, one is her stepson, and then the other is a daughter who we'll get into. You guys can see the green skin. You know what happened. <laughs> um, the, this is her formal wear. I love this dress and this hair on her. She used to have the um, curly hair. You guys know that long curly hair and the curly bun that we got with... Um, the Sulani pack. I can't think of names of packs right now. Like, it's so late. I know the names of the town. So you guys know. Just work with me. Um, but <laughs> when we got that, she had those hairs originally. And then we got these Afro hairs. And I was like, oh, girl. Oh, girl. Yes. <laughs> so here's her uh, party wear. It is currently fall slash winter in my game, which is why she has on a lot of long, um, long clothing. And so here's her swimwear. I love this top that we got with the new Mar not Mardi Gras. Wow, completely wrong path. <laughs> or completely wrong event, I mean. Um, here is her what is this? A summer wear, summer wear clothes, summer wear, summer wear. Got that dress, the dress from uh the new pack that we got, wedding stories, my wedding stories, love it. And then this old school, what what thing is this from? I can't think of it now. Oh my gosh. It's the blue, the blue onesie with the roses and stuff. And I just put it in her, on her in orange. I can't think of what it's from right now. And I'm not clicking it because I do not have the energy to go find out. But here is her winter wear. And then also her uh, other winter wear. I love this on her for her winter wear. And she's just a very neutral makeup person. So all her makeup's pretty much the same. Really just like changes from like a lip gloss to like a lipstick, a matte lipstick. That's pretty much it. But this is Noelle. I love her. She is my favorite character to play. I mostly play her. Um, I mostly play this household and they're just so fun. And again, you guys can see she's a spellcaster. 
I did that, and then in the game, I made it, like, a secret, so not even her husband knows, and she has a whole secret dungeon in their house where she just does, like, spells and stuff. It's Mark. so fun. Um, and then we also have Angel. Angel is her husband. Uh, he was a police officer originally. I made, I also played him, um back when I first started their save file. And so I was playing her, I was playing him, and I got them together. They were neighbors, it was fun. Okay, so he was originally a detective. He was level 10, um, this is what he looks like. And then we got Strangerville. So then I made him, I put him in the military and he's currently in the military. I do not remember what level he's at. I wanna say he's like level seven or eight. Like I have him slowly working his way up in that. Um, but yeah, this is Angel love him he loves archaeology you guys can see um he oh i wanted that to actually go away i don't know why i clicked that but anyway he loves archaeology so he's always dragging noel to like different different uh archaeology ar archaeological wow archaeological digs <laughs> And he takes the family and everything. They went for their honeymoon. They actually came back with another cat. So Noel originally had a cat named Bella. Bella is, poor Bella, rest in peace. She died. She was old. Um, and then she, before she died, though, she had gotten a second cat, which is Twix, right? And then, like, she adopted Twix. And then when they were out on their honeymoon, Noel was like, you know, it'd be a good idea to adopt a stray cat. <laughs> so she adopted a stray cat. And I named the stray cat Cece. And Bella and Cece are no more, but we do still have Twix. So that's uh, that story. Okay, so Angel is a hothead. He is athletic and he loves music. As you can say, see, here are his likes. Um, he's a very neutral palette person. He is very into music. Like we said, he plays piano. He plays guitar. Um, I taught him the organ. Like he took uh, classes at the local college. Um, I do not remember if he knows the violin. I don't think he does, and I don't think I really wanted to teach him. I really didn't care to teach him that one, but I did have him learn everything else. Uh, and also, here is his dog, who is Charger. So this is Charger. Let me just go through the animals real quick. So this is Charger, who is a Belgian Malinois, or Malinois, Malinois if I remember, if that's how, I, if I believe that's how you say it, a Belgian Malinois, Malinois, oh my gosh, I can't say it. <laughs> um, but so, again, because um, Angel is currently in the military, this is his military dog that he works with that is also a house dog, um, what appropriate. And so these are just some cute little outfits, you know. I usually don't put clothes on my pets in The Sims because I don't even do that really in real life. But I thought, hey, uh, it's about to be cold. Put the dog in a sweater. <laughs> and then here's little Twix. Oh, and uh, also, sorry. Charger is smart, energetic, and adventurous, as you guys can see. So Charger and Angel are always going for runs, always run around the towns and stuff. I just kick them out the house and I'd be like, go on a run. And I have them have a daddy dog time. <laughs> and then we have Twix who's spoiled, of course, because you have Noelle who's a whole cat obsessed lady. You guys saw the cat uh, the cat tattoo on her arm. Like, she loves cats. So of course this cat's gonna be spoiled. Uh, also affectionate and then also lazy. So this is Twix. Twix is just a cute little cutie. Um has a little sweater on her as well as another sweater that's just cute and that's that okay back to angel so this is his first everyday wear outfit second everyday wear outfit i also love this hair on him he used to have um i'll show you guys it's on his other son zion but he used to have that short uh what was it the short dreadlocks like in the, that come down in the front he used to have those um, and then when we got this new hair with the, ooh, 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 why can't I think of the pack name? The, that's the one that had uh, Mardi Gras in it. That, it's not really Mardi Gras, but it's like New Orleans inspired. I can't think of what it's called right now. But so he originally had that hair. And then when we got that other pack that I'm just talking about, I put this hair on him. And I had to remove all his hats. He was a hat guy. He always had on a beanie, but... It does not work with this hairstyle. So unfortunately, he had to lose the hats. Um, I love this robe, by the way. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And, ooh, hey, Daddy, how you doing? Um, <laughs> oh, thank God my fiance sleep in the other room. He'd be like, what'd you say? <laughs> um, here is his 
party wear. Party wear, just very, very cute, very simple. He has on some more stuff. He has some tattoos, as did um, Noelle. Noelle had the cat tattoo. She also had the flower tattoo you guys saw. And I think she had one on her ankle as well. But I cannot remember what it is. I want to say it's another flower. It might be the air. Or, or no, I it might be the, the sunset. I don't know. You guys will go back and see it because I'm not. <laughs> um, but this is what Angel looks like. I really had fun styling all of my sims because i had not styled them in like good god i want to say it had to be at least like six months it had to be six months a good solid six months because i wasn't playing you guys all right here's leo so leo shipper he took his mother's last name so this is what happened all right we're gonna get into all the tea in a minute but leo shipper is angel's child with um this woman okay her name is oh my god why can't i think of her name and i literally was just fixing all the relationships audrey wow had a whole brain fart yeah <laughs> so so angel and uh audrey had a kid leo right leo was a toddler when i first started the game angel did not know that audrey was pregnant nor had leo like they just kind of fell out um I don't know if it was one night stand or what happened, but my little uh, dramatic self had to make it so that he didn't know he had a kid, right? And then she basically popped up one day like, hey, this is your kid. <laughs> and then he, he, was, he was a supportive dad. So then he ended up taking Leo because the mom, uh, who we'll talk about in a little bit, she is a food critic. Uh, and so, or actually, sorry, not a food critic. She's an art critic. And so she was traveling a lot. And so basically my head can the story was that um, she basically left Leo with daddy and said, hey, you ain't been in your child's life for a few years. Get to know your kid. And then he ended up keeping Leo. And mom's not upset. They actually live in the same town. Like, mom is literally one of our neighbors. And we're cool now. But uh, things were a little weird between Audrey and Noelle at first because Noelle wasn't having the disrespect that Audrey was giving her because Audrey was like, who are you and why are you around my child, right? All right, so this is Leo. These are his likes and dislikes. He's very, very athletic. He is a um, a, a famous person in the game. I want to say he's at like star level two or three. I can't remember. But he's building his audience and it's mostly off of his music video. So he makes like YouTube videos for his guitar playing, which his dad taught him. Um, and he's very, very athletic. Like I said, he loves his athletics. So I'm ready to get him into skateboarding with the new pack. Like I said, I haven't been playing. So he does not know how to skateboard yet, but he is gonna learn. And I also love these tops that we got with um, that men's fashion wear pack. I can't remember the actual name of it. I wanna say it's men's fashion wear or something like that. But I love the tops. Now, some of the other stuff we got, like I don't like the full body outfits. I can't get into the full body outfits, at least not for this current household, maybe for another household I have, but not for these guys. I'm just like, mm, nah, like I don't think they'd wear that. Um, and also, Leo did inherit his dad's hot headedness. So he often gets mad and a hormonal teenager getting mad. Oh gosh, he's mad most of the time. Um, he's also a bro though as well. And originally, Leo had long hair, just like his dad. It wasn't it wasn't locked, um, but it was long and curly. He got it from his mom as well. His mom has curly hair somewhat. I think I actually left her with the straight hair recently, but it was naturally curly. And I was just like, you know what, Leo? I think it's time to cut it. And so I recently cut his hair. And I'm actually, I actually really, really, really like it. Really short. It's actually very adorable. Um, Leo did have a summer job as a lifeguard. So here's Zaddy for a uh, lifeguard duty. <laughs> and so he still, you know, wears that stuff to the beach and things. And it's really, really fun. I also love this purple shirt, this watermelon shirt and things that we got with, um, the new, I keep wanting to say Mardi Gras. It's not Mardi Gras with the new carnival pack. And so this is just what Leo looks like. 
He's a hat guy, as you can see. He got that from his dad, but unfortunately his daddy's hair is too long, so he cannot do that anymore. Um, and also you guys can see that he is trying to figure out the Strangerville mystery. So his dad works for the military and the son is trying to figure out what's going on exactly with that military base. And I haven't gotten that far because I've just been playing with Leo. Leo usually takes Charger with him, uh, you know, because a man and his dog, they got to investigate some stuff. And you know, if uh, he goes missing, Lassie's got to <laughs> go tell somebody what happened, right? So I love playing with them together. It is so fun. Like this dog gets the most, I think he gets out of the house more than my kid Sims over here, uh, little Zion and little Adreno, okay? But okay, so after Leo, we have Zion. And Zion Madrid is the son of Angel and Noel, right? And so you can also see uh, Noelle did become, like I said, a spellcaster eventually. She went to the mystical world, became a spellcaster, and then she had Zion who inherited that from her. Zion, he wants to be a social butterfly. I love Zion. He is so sweet. He's such a green fiend. He loves the world. Originally, um, he was a, what is that thing? I think it was Child of the Ocean or something like that, like where he's able to talk to the elders of Sulani and things like that. And then I changed him to a green fiend because he does love nature. He loves nature. He loves animals. He loves the water, things like that. But he's also very social. He wants to be an actor when he grows up. So he is in the after school acting program, um, which I think I'm going to have to actually put him back in because my stupid self, y'all, when I was redoing my town, for some godforsaken reason, I decided before I saved the game that I was going to delete my Sims and then I was going to upload all the new Sims into my town, like, you know, random townies. Cause I usually just, I, I save Sims from the gallery and then I throw them in my game. Cause I just, they need to all look decent. Like they need to look decent. They need to be decent people. So I usually just steal them off the gallery, throw them in the game. Right. My stupid self deleted them first when I was supposed to put the people in and then save the game and then delete them and then save the new file and then bring them back. I messed up basically because I was doing too many things at once and I didn't realize until late. So now I'm basically playing with a brand new game. Like I had to go in. Luckily I had the character saved. So I had to go into my gallery and then re-download all my Sims, go back, re-edit all the relationships between the family members because they didn't know each other. It was a hot mess. I was so mad at myself. But anyway... Okay, so Zion, right? Here's what he likes, video gaming. Oh yeah, he's really into video gaming. Him and his sister play video games with their brother. That's like the only time they really all hang out. Otherwise, they're usually all doing their own thing. Um, and he is into the violin. So that's his, uh, his uh, instrument of choice. So nobody else in the house, I believe, can play a violin if I remember correctly, but Zion can. Okay, so here's Zion, right? I love this purple on him. He looks so cute. And so this is the hair that his dad originally had. Zion actually had the uh, brown hair with the dyed yellow ends, but I ended up getting rid of it because I wanted him to have this hair. And me with my like needing everything to match self, I was like, this ain't gonna work if his ends are dyed blonde. Like, because why would the blonde all of a sudden be gone, right? But I love this on him. Zion is such a cutie patootie, look at him, he's so cute. Smile that smiles. <laughs> he is gonna be a great actor. I can see it. I can see it already. Oh my gosh. And I love him with his little um his little glasses. Like look at his little glasses. Look at his little glasses. Oh, he's so cute. Um, I believe Zion also has braces, if I remember right. Like, can we see your mouth, sir? I know this is a weird request, but can we please see your mouth? And he also inherited his dad's freckles. His dad has the same exact freckles as he does the full face freckles. Um, and he does have the, uh, fre not freckles. The, he does have the braces, as I was saying. That's what I was going to say. Um, and so here's his sleepwear. Here's another sleepwear. We also have his party wear. And so he's an art kid, right? He has to have on some cool colors, some fun stuff. He wears his mismatch socks. This is his, um, swimwear. They did used to live on their own island in Sulani so I have to give them like a lot of uh, scuba suits and things like that for summer I decided because he's not gonna have that one twisted hairstyle he can dye his hair uh, blonde and so I let him keep that for his summer hair 
And then we have his winter hair, or not winter hair, his winter outfit, another winter outfit, and then his final winter outfit. So this is what he looks like. Um, and then the very last baby is Adrena. So Leo was a child when we had Zion, who was then a toddler. Then Zion aged up. And we were like, oh, are we? And I was like, okay, y'all ain't have no more kids. Y'all got two, you're done, right? And I really, really, really wanted a girl, but Zion didn't end up being a girl. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. Y'all just got two boys. You're chilling. And also because I had finished building their daggone house. Then, <laughs> then <laughs> the universe had different plans for Angel his behind then got abducted. I was like, please don't get pregnant. Please don't get pregnant. Please don't get pregnant. He didn't get pregnant. But then he got abducted like three, four more times. I was pissed because one day he came back and it's like, oh, he feels sick. And I was like, no. And I know like there's a cheat to get rid of it and everything. But I also have a morbid curiosity to know what's going to happen. And I also got my baby girl. So I was like, mm, you're keeping the baby. And you know what, Noel did. Noel was just. I just had to be stupid. I was like, Noel, you don't see nothing. Like his abs are truly not distending, and he's truly not giving birth to this baby outside of the house on the beach. <laughs> While you are outside grilling, like you, no, that's not happening. Y'all know where this baby came from. It's just a baby, and you're just like, oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and so that's what happened. And then we had Adrena. So Adrena of course, is an alien. She's a vegetarian. She uh, is very smart, obviously, alien. And then she has her likes and her dislikes. She loves colors. She loves music, just like our family, loves fishing, all that fun stuff, right? And that this is what she looks like as an alien. This is what she looks like as a human, very much so like her brother, um, she's a little bit lighter like Leo, so I guess that's part of Angel's, uh, genes is just, like, this color variation of their skin, which, I mean, eh, whatever, because if you look at even, um, Noelle and Zion and Angel, Zion's, like, a perfect mix between them, which I'm so happy because remember when they originally came out and they said, oh, we're gonna give you guys new skin tones, and then people were messing with the skin tones and like, um, and mixing their Sims together to get babies. And you were getting Sims that look nothing like their parents. And I know that people could obviously look different than their parents, right? But it was like, you had two black Sims and then you had a white baby. And it was like, huh? Those genetics don't add up. And I'm just like, huh? But anyway, okay, so this is what Adrena looks like. She has her daddy's dreadlocks. Um, she has a gap in her teeth. You guys can see she's missing her teeth. And so this is what she looks like. She's a very, very cute little girl. Um, this is also what she looks like as a in her human skin. And she literally has all the same outfits in her alien skin as well. I love her cute little eyes and her cute little freckles in her alien skin. She usually is in her human skin if she's out. Um, at home, though, she can be in her green skin. But most of the time, I've noticed recently, um, I believe she's in her, her default human skin. And that's just because she's always outside, usually playing. And I guess she doesn't want the neighbors to see her in her like green skin. Like Her parents don't really say anything um about it i i still think that noelle is just pretend to be blind and that she's like mm, this is normal this is fine <laughs> um but so these are her outfits and she, again like i said she is a vegetarian because she does love animals she's like best friends with the pets in the house she's always talking to the stray animal this is also part of the reason why i want them to be in henford on bagley or at least to get the chicken coop and have the llamas and the cows and stuff. Cause I'm like, she would love that. I need the foxes to come visit. I need the bunnies to come visit. I need the birds to sing with her. Like she's a Disney princess. Like Adrena is ready for all that fun. So as you can see in some of her outfits, she does have um, animal printed patterns or animal patterns for her clothing, which is really fun. Okay, so that's my main family, right? Now, let me go back and I'm going to show you guys my next family or my extension of the family. So this is the Jensen household. Algorithm. This is Audrey. 
remember who I said Audrey was? Audrey, if you were paying attention, kids, was or is Leo's mother, right? So Audrey and Angel got together, had some uh, adult fun, and then they had Leo, okay? Audrey literally lives, I'm not even kidding, so my main family right now, they're living in Willow Creek, all the way on the left side of the map. Audrey lives directly on the right side of the map. Like, they are in the same exact world. It basically, like, one, if one, not a town, I guess, what would you call that? Like, one section, village? I don't know. But one section over on the map. Like, she lives right next, or right across from, um, the, 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 I'm gonna call it the retail center. Like, you guys know at the bottom of the map on Willow Creek, where they have, like, all those shops and stuff. We're on the left of that. She's on the right of that. And now we get along fine most of the time. Um... <laughs> Okay, so Audrey, right? Audrey, she wanted her, or she wants her soulmate. Y'all, this family got messy real quick. I did not mean to get it this messy. I don't even remember doing this. I don't think I even did this on purpose. I think the Sims did this, and then I just ran with it and was like, okay. <laughs> okay, so she wanted a soulmate, right? Remember I said she's a snob, she is a critic, um, she's lactose intolerant, and she's also romantic, right? So Audrey, well, hello, messy self. <clears throat> I love her. She's so sweet, but she is so messy, girl. Okay, so Audrey with her messy self, right? She was with, as you guys know, Angel. Angel had a best friend. Okay. Angel's best friend and Audrey met. Angel's best friend was one of the officers at his old job. Which also makes me think that's part of why he probably left. Because he's probably like, mm, some words I can't say on YouTube about these two. Because they done got together, y'all. Audrey done got together with Angel's best friend. Okay? And they done got married. Introducing Zayden. Alright, so Zayden... I still don't know how I feel about his beard. He used to not have a beard. Like, he was the only clean-shaven one. The beard still is something I'm get, trying to get used to because I'm used to him looking like, let me get rid of that for a second. I'm used to him looking like that, but I, I had to add something to make him look a little more older because uh, once his daughter aged up, yeah, they had a kid, y'all. They, they, they had a kid. But anyway, <laughs> once his daughter aged up from a toddler, I was like, okay, sir, you're still looking too young. You gotta look a little older. So I had to give him something and the facial hair was the answer. <laughs> And the facial hair was the answer, like I was saying. I, my, my computer was just being disrespectful and shut down on me. Anyway, okay. So, next one I need to show you guys. I forgot to show you all Audrey's um, likes and dislikes. Her, her, her thing right here. And also, let me plug up my computer before it does that again. Okay. So, she loves music again. Some more music, right? She loves painting, things like that. Because we said she's an art critic. Okay. Going back to Zayden. So, Zayden... He's a bodybuilder. He is also an officer. Um, like I said, he actually ended up taking... Damn it, Zayden, I just realized you ain't a good friend because he ended up taking Angel's woman. Technically, I mean, I know they wasn't together, but you know, you got the point. He ended up taking Angel's woman and his damn job. Ain't that a damn shame? I'm just saying. Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> and somehow Angel's still being a good friend and is still friends with Zayden. How? I would have to curse you out. I have to curse you out and come to blows. But okay, anyway. Ain't my business. Okay, so dog lover. Zayden is a dog lover. He is also active and he's a genius, right? Okay, cool. This is what Zayden looks like in his outfits. I actually really, really like Zayden's outfits. I don't know why. I don't know what I even did to like make me like them so much, but I do. Um, I think it also is the thing because him and Audrey literally just wear black. <laughs> Like, they basically just wear black. Sometimes you'll see Zayden, like, like right now, in gray or blue or green. But it's always navy blue. It's always olive green. Um, and, like, a dark gray with maybe a white shirt, right? Like, that is their thing. They don't wear any other colors. And it makes styling them so easy. Like, I love it. I love it. But anyway. Okay. So this is their daughter, Ruby Jensen. So this is Leo's half-sister. Right? Because they share the same mother, different father. Still messy. Anyway, um, Ruby, she is an artist. Like, she likes to draw and paint and things like that. Here are her likes and dislikes. And she is a loner. She literally pretty much just only hangs out with her cousins. 
i.e. Zion and Adrena. Um, she's like really, really good friends with Zion. Is okay friends with uh, Adrena. Her and her brother or her half brother, uh, Leo, talk, but the age difference, I guess, makes it a little awkward. So she's more close to the other two. And Ruby used to have the longest, prettiest hair. And I ended up chopping it all off. <laughs> Literally what I've been doing, I think because most of my Sims in this game round have had such long hair, I've been like, okay, it's time for a change. Let's cut it. And I almost never, like, I, I feel like most of my Sims usually have short hair, but lately I've been wanting them to have long hair. And now I'm just like, mm, never mind. Oh, I just realized her and her uh, cousin have the same exact shirt on. I didn't realize that. And I usually hate doing that. I usually hate it if my Sims have on the same uh, item, right? But I guess I didn't notice it and I really don't care enough to go change it. So Ruby, you and your cousin, I guess y'all just had like a twin thing. Y'all, y'all was dressing up. Okay. So this is Prince. Prince is a poodle. He is a uh, family's pet poodle. He's playful. He is smart and he is friendly. I like him. Prince is just a cutie patootie and he doesn't really have anything, uh, different on just the blue collar. So that is this family. And now let's go to, I think the next one's Madrid. Oh no, Salas. Okay. So Salas, right? The Salas family. So this is Rico. Rico is Angel's older brother. Okay. So Rico's actually a middle child. We'll talk about that in a second with the next family. But Rico is Angel's older brother. He's a middle child out of three. <clears throat> okay. Rico, he is a doctor. He is an academic. Um, you can see his likes and dislikes here. He really likes uh, classy stuff, hates a lot of metal, kids, music, mischief, things like that. He's a doctor. He's making money. He's trying to raise his kids to be, quote unquote, proper, you know, the the ideal type of child. Uh, he's very proper. He's family oriented. He loves his family. He loves his his. Uh, his nuclear family right here, his wife and his two kids, and he loves his extended family, his brother, his sister, uh, the nieces, nephews. He He's here for it all. And he's very, very neat. Okay? Rico, here are his outfits. Um, he used to be a little more chunky, but then his brother started to take, and you see the Bluetooth because uh, he, he's a doctor, right? He used to be a little more chunky, and then his brother started taking him to the gym. He started hanging out more uh, with his brother and things because he's a busy man, right? He, he's a whole doctor. But he started hanging out more with his brother, and he started losing a little bit of weight. He lost a few pounds, as you can see, because his tummy used to be, like, all the way out to here. Like, he used to have a belly. And so I'm, I'm actually really proud of Rico. I'm like, you you got this, sir. I, I appreciate what you did. You've been working hard. And I also love how much younger I made him look because he used to look not old, but like he looked disheveled, I would say. Like his, the hair he had originally was a mess. He didn't have any facial hair and he just looked worn down. So I was like, oh, when we got this hair, I don't even know which hair this is. Which hair is this? I'm just curious now. Okay, tiny living. When we got that tiny living hair, I was like, yes. And I did give him the gray hair. I don't care. He's old. Leave me alone. Okay, so <laughs> this is Rico. Rico got his model wife. I'm telling you, like, she was bad back in the day. And then I, I just started making her into a mom. <laughs> but she's still, she's still bad. I don't care. Um, I recently cut her hair. She used to have the longest hair as well. Very, very nice hair. Um, but I ended up cutting it off just because I was tired of it. Like, she she was somebody, she was a sim that I was like, her character in my head would never cut her hair. And then I think she was just like, screw it <laughs> one day. And like, maybe she had a midlife crisis or something and she cut it all off. But this is Catherine. Catherine, um, she's a master maker. She is a freelance um, artist. So she draws on the side just freelance whatever she wants she's mostly a stay-at-home mom um and you can see right here she loves cooking she loves baking she loves romance she does not like black she does not wear black all right and so you would think that it'd be an interesting thing right to have her being technically related to uh audrey and them by the weird way she is um, she is a maker, she is self-absorbed, and she is also romantic. I believe I used to have her jealous, but I had to change that trait because, like, Noelle was talking to Rico one day, and 
Catherine lost her goddamn mind. <laughs> like, she yelled and threw a fit and ran over. And I, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, she slapped him. And I was like, Catherine, no! Catherine, no! And so I had to change that trait because I was like, girl, you about to end up in jail somewhere. Oh my goodness. Um, She loves pink and I love this outfit on her. This is like such a nice outfit. And Catherine is somebody who, again, wears a lot of natural makeup, but she also like overdoes it just a little bit like with highlighter and stuff like that's her all right so this is her swimwear we have her what is this called what is this called summer wear a dress right and then we have her winter wear okay so that is Catherine. and i don't know if you guys have been paying attention but a lot of my sims uh have their nails done i don't care we got that and i ran with it i ran with the makeover stuff Okay, so this is Nikki. Nikki is Catherine and Rico's oldest child. She is a twin to her brother down here, Zach, okay? But so Nikki also wants to be an actress, and I'm guessing that's where her little nephew got it from, right? Because she wants to be an actress. He also wants to be an actor. Um, and also, sorry, this is something totally off a side note. So Zion, who wants to be an actor, right, who's the kid of Angel and uh noel he does want to be an actor but he also is really into art he draws a lot and so what i was thinking for him was to either be a fashion designer or to design robotics and stuff um like when he goes to college join the robotics team and then maybe become a scientist or something i don't really know or a programmer i don't really know what exactly what i want him to do Honestly, Zion is just my, my project child. I feel like he's going to end up doing a thousand things and be good at all of them. Anyway, okay, so Nikki, right, here's her likes and dislikes. You guys can see what she likes, what she doesn't like. <clears throat> she loves to dance, and she is also very squeamish. Nikki and Leo, they did not get along as kids. So her and her cousin Leo, the oldest of, uh, of Angel, right, the kid of Angel and Audrey, they did not get along when they were growing up. Like, they fought all the time. Also, Nikki has such a cool style. Look at this. Just look at this. Like, I love this. The eyebrow, the nose ring, the gauges. Like, yes, girl. Anyway. Okay, so they did not get along growing up. They were fighting constantly. Meanwhile, she's always at our house. I was like, Nikki, stop coming over if you go, if you go instigate this man. Because <laughs> she would start it. And I'd be like, Nikki, stop. Again, just yelling at my characters like they really gonna listen. But so uh, this is Nikki. She has a bunch of tattoos, which I am so shocked because she be hiding them. She be like, uh -uh, I ain't got no tattoos. I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all seeing stuff, right? Uh, and so the, as you can see, I love her though. Like she is such a cool character to me. And I love styling her because again, we have Rico and Catherine. Rico and Catherine, they are the typical quote unquote rich parents. They want to buy designer everything. They want to see their kids in designer everything. And so I feel like that's what they do with their twins. They're like, you're not wearing that. Go change. And they make them put on something designer. And so I feel like Nikki was rebelling a little bit, got all her piercings, got her tattoos that she quote unquote hides, right? She doesn't really wear makeup. I don't know if you guys can see. Like she really just wears eyeliner and a little bit of eyeshadow. This actually looks like a lot of bit of eyeshadow, but she wears a little bit of eyeshadow, trust me. Um, she doesn't really wear blush or lipstick or anything. And so like, I feel like her mom has a very tight reign over that at least. And she's like, why did you do that to your face? Like, that's why I feel like Nikki is right now. Um, Zach, Zach is the best friend of Leo. Uh, and actually all the, all the friendship relationships got chopped when I deleted them. So I actually gotta go back in and probably mess with them. But Zach and Leo were really close in quote unquote canon. Like this is a TV show. They were really close in canon. Um, and Zach is my little nerdy computer boy. I love him. Oh my God, he's so cute. And so he also is into rocket science and stuff. So I really do feel like Zion looks up to these older kids, looks up to the teenagers and like is seeing what they're doing and is then like, I want to do that too. And so I feel like that's why he has all those likes. Um, Zach is also a bro and he is a geek. So here is what Zach looks like, right? And I think I gave Zach a few pimples, right? Um, we have then another another everyday outfit. We have, I, this was originally, okay, so this was originally one of the hairs that Leo had because his hair was so long, I was able to actually give him that hair, right? 
And it looked so nice on him. But then when I cut his hair, I had to go and I ended up giving it to Zach. I was like, here, Zach, you want this? Um, and so here is his sleepwear. Here is his party wear. I polished his nails black for this. I feel like he would totally do that because he's just that type of cool kid. His, uh, what was that? Swimwear, summer wear, right? We have uh, two summer wears. I give the kids and the teens two. Um, and I usually give the adults one. So usually kids and teens will get two summer and two winter because I hang out with them more as teenagers. Um, and then the adults just get the one if they're not my main house. If they're my main house, I give them two or three. But if they're not my main house, people usually get one. And so this is Zach, all right? And then our very last household is... Katarina, the last Madrid. She is our dog lady. So she's not a cat lady. She's a dog lady. And so it originally started out with Simon. Simon was our first dog. He is a greyhound. Um, he was an adult when we got him. But then when he got old, I was like, oh, no, she ain't going to be able to make it if this dog dies. So I had to get her two more dogs. <laughs> and so we started out with Simon. He's now an elder. And then we ended up getting, oh, and I'm sorry. And Simon also is intel or smart uh lazy and then also friendly then we got mojo because i was like this girl ain't gonna make it if her dog dies right mojo is stubborn a hunter and friendly as well and this is what mojo looks like and mojo's just another cutie patootie and i believe they're all boys if i remember yeah because simon's a boy mojo's a boy and bentley is also a boy all right and bentley is a great dane mojo and simon are both greyhounds um Bentley is a glutton and loyal and playful and here's my cute little Bentley oh my god I love Bentley Bentley is just so cute I don't know why I've recently been into like Great Danes and I was really thinking of getting one like in a few years but also they're a heartbreak breed like they die so young at like eight and stuff and I'm like I don't listen I can't get attached to something that dies that soon that's literally why I did not get a mouse um, or a hamster when me and my fiance were talking about getting pets because we want we want dogs But we can't get dogs where we currently live and I can't get a cat because my mom's allergic So she would never watch it if we ever went on vacation or something and I was like no like hamsters and mice and stuff They only live like two years. I will cry I cannot get attached and then something dies that soon. So we end up getting guinea pigs I now have three guinea pigs. They are the cutest little things and they can live between 8 and 12 years So I was like, okay, that's that I could do that. I could do that like, like I can, I can, I can do that, but not a dog, a dog. I mean, I understand. I love, I love my guinea pigs. I truly do. I would not give them up for the world, but dog is man's best friend. Y'all eight years. Like I would cry. I would be a wreck eight years with my guinea pigs. I'd be like, okay, you know what? They lived a good life. They were tiny. They were cute. I, I love them. And like, that's that. All right. And then we also have Katarina, all right? So I truly didn't make these names match kind of for like no reason. Or wait, no, I said that wrong. I truly did not purposely make these names match because we have a Catherine, we have a Katarina, all right? So Katarina Madrid is the eldest of the Madrid children. So it's Katarina, then Rico, then Angel. And Katarina is also a celebrity. She is a uh, four-star celebrity She for her writing. She's a best-selling author, right? And so here are her likes and dislikes, right? She really likes writing, obviously. She loves color. She's always wearing color. And she's not really a big uh, video gamer or anything like that. Obviously, she's a bookworm. She's outgoing. And she's unflirty, which is kind of how she ended up being the auntie with all the dogs and no kids, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> no, I actually really love her. Okay, so here is Katarina. She was originally a redhead, y'all. Like, she was a redhead, and I changed her. She was a redhead with long, curly hair. I changed it to blonde, to brown. I think the only color I haven't done yet is black for her, but she's always changing her hair and her color. Like, she's cutting it, she's dyeing it, she's growing it, she's chopping it, and I love it. And so this is her latest style. Um, we have that as one of her everyday outfits. Then we have the second everyday outfit. We have her formal wear, which is with that new My Wedding Stories hair. I love it. We have uh, athletic wear. I had to think of the word. <laughs> um, sleep. And then I love this one as well. This is such a cute outfit on her. <clears throat> and I love these glasses. 
for her party wear. And she does have a nose ring. She's that cool auntie. Uh, she has her swimwear and then also her summer wear. And then last but not least, her winter wear. And I don't know why that blush is popping like that. Good Lord, girl. <laughs> But anyway, um, so I think that is all I have for you guys. And I'm sorry, I'm just looking at her blush like, good lord, why is it so bright? <laughs> like, I'm actually very curious. Why is it so bright? I guess it was something I did. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it though. Like, fi she fine. She good. So, that is all I have for you guys in this video. I just really want to introduce you guys to my new families. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little quick look at my styling my Sims. I enjoy styling Sims. and I haven't done it in so long. I tried to use a little bit of something from each pack because I paid for the goddamn pack. So I might as well use them. But <laughs> besides that, uh, I hope you guys just enjoy this quick little look. I'm thinking I might upload some other videos. I do have some videos that I have, um unlisted currently that I have because I have low-key been recording but I didn't want to post those because I was just like eh, I don't think I might be really be interested in them I might end up posting them um with like voiceovers because they currently don't have any type of voiceover it's literally like a 30 second video of just styled sims but I might post the voiceover and explain a little bit more about those sims because I'm very very excited to complete that whole series of sims that I'm also doing anyway okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a quick little look. And by quick little look, I think I probably just spent about 35, 40 minutes doing this. But it's fine. Uh, I will see you all in the next video. You already know my model. Sim School Sleep Repeat. Uh, do all those YouTube things. You know, subscribe, like, share, all the things that YouTubers tell you to do. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.